it's very much looking at like a number six, not has a huge amount of creation output in terms of assist or things like that. He's got a couple of goals from XD, but they've often been from, from set pieces. Again, quite a tall lad. He's very much somebody who's, when you watch him play, picks the ball up quite deep and progress the ball up. And he, he's very happy to take it under pressure, pass it under pressure, run with it under pressure. You know, there is a reason why he chose Thiago as his middle name as a 16 year old. It's not a like for like comparison, but that's the kind of role I think he wants to play and I think he's comfortable with. And in terms of a squad perspective, you kind of go, well, okay, we have Ivata there who can probably pop into the six if he needs to, but he, he can do different things as well. So have somebody who's like home, who's, who I kind of see like a McGregor backup, you know, in terms of he, he can probably step in and do a lot of the things McGregor can do. Do you see him getting serious minutes next season? No, if he's just a six. You know, he'll get minutes, even with as a McGregor replacement. Again, it comes back to Rogers' midfield composition. You know, if, if he is happy to kind of get his centre-backs to step up a bit, you can maybe move a slightly deeper pivot player, two of them beside McGregor and so on. And it's not like he couldn't play an eight either in the Celtic system. I think he could. So I think he, he can step in for McGregor. He can probably step in for Hatati. He's probably not the more kind of O'Reilly... Haxabana is Turnbull, Moy kind of player in, in those three. He's probably more of a, a McGregor Hatati kind of person. So in terms of fitting into squad, you know, age, what he can do, his strengths on the ball, like that's my Celtic need to kind of have somebody who's happy to play forward in those. Sense. So I, I think that's quite exciting and a sensible signing in terms of the squad and, and his strengths. 